already we know that for standard ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 y is equal to mx plus c is tangent if and only if c square is equal to a square m square plus b square. Now, you observe that it can be written as plus or minus root of a square m square plus b square. Now, here you see one point very clearly that substitute this value c here y is equal to m x plus r minus a square m square plus b square. Now, if this is your ellipse equation, let us take a straight line will be like this, it is passing through some point x 1 comma y 1, y is equal to m x plus c. Now, we can claim that this line passes through x 1 y 1. So, y 1 is equal to m x 1 plus r minus root of a square m square plus b square. It is y 1 minus m x 1 whole square equal to a square m square plus b square. Now, y 1 square plus m square x 1 square minus 2 m x 1 y 1 is equal to a square plus a square m square plus b square. Now, bring all the terms to one side m square x 1 square minus a square m square minus 2 m x 1 y 1 y 1 square minus b square equal to 0. Now, in these two in these two m square is common m square into x 1 square minus a square minus 2 m x 1 y 1 plus y 1 square minus b square equal to 0. Now, you observe that m square m and constant that means it is pakka a quadratic equation. So, this is a quadratic equation in m and has two roots. Let us say m 1 comma m 2. Now, we know that m stands for slope. So, m 1 m 2 are slopes of two different lines. That means, hence a maximum of two tangents are possible to ellipse from external point, external point like this. This is one tangent means the another tangent will be like this. Now, further you see that here since m1 comma m2 are slopes, we can write m1 plus m2 is nothing but sum of the slopes given by 2x1 y1 by x1 square minus a square and m1 m2 that is y1 square minus b square by x1 square minus a square. Of course, this is sum of the slopes, this is product of the slopes. Now, in particular, if m1 m2 is equal to minus 1, you can write y1 square minus b square by x1 square minus a square equal to minus 1. When product of slopes is equal to minus 1, angle between them is equal to 90. So, y1 square minus b square equal to minus x1 square plus a square, x1 square plus y1 square equal to a square plus b square, locus of x1 comma y1 is x square plus y square equal to a square plus b square under the square root whole square. Now, you see that it is nothing but x square plus y square equal to r square which is nothing but circle. Now, this is nothing but called director circle. So, the figure will be like this. If this is your standard ellipse means, now around this ellipse you are going to get one circle equation like this. That means, the speciality of this circle is from any point on this circle if tangents are drawn to this ellipse like this, angle between them will be 90 degrees. So, this dotted circle is nothing but director circle which is the locus of 
points of intersection of perpendicular tangents drawn to the ellipse is again a circle concentric with given ellipse in the sense concentric means center of our expected circle and center of ellipse is same so definition of director circle so what is definition of director circle locus of points of intersection of points of intersection of perpendicular tangents drawn to ellipse drawn to ellipse is a concentric circle called director circle director circle now please do remember for standard ellipse x square plus by a square y square by b square equal to 1 director circle is given by x square plus y square equal to a square plus b square here remember one logic if a is greater than b or b greater than a there is no change in the director circle equation